okay so hey guys welcome back so now we are going for marcus and we are here for where we did the whole we are now on the baking day which is day three and now i'm going to say help marcus clean up instead of get on my knees and beg for mercy i'm not sure if this is the choice that may have switched everything but we'll find out oh well i guess there is my answer <laughs> marcus said no it's all over your hair <laughs> <laughs> I tried to scoop up the cream with my hand, taking care not to yank out his hair while doing so. Uh, I am perfectly fine. What? No, this is bad. It's all my fault. Everything is a mess because of me. I'm sorry. My hands were filled with cream, but Marcus didn't seem to mind and took my hand into his. It's fine. Everything is alright, Lola. <laughs> I jumped in the way to stop you from being a mess but it seemed I failed why would you sulk your Sally your own hand I swear there's always something more to you Marcus there we were motionless hand in hand until Letitia came in and st started to guide us on the cleanup effort how do we need help to clean but anyway, I don't know if it was the smile of big goods and sweets whipped whipped cream but I felt as if my face was blushed blushing a bright shade of red and i always find it funny how most of these things are like the race specific i have never read an otome or a visual novel where like they have considered dark skinned people because like you don't really see us going red when we blush at least the dark skinned ones but anyways yeah i'm gonna move on Oof, baking isn't for the faint of heart. Okay, so this part is the same, I believe. Okay, so student cancel room. Okay, so here, who knows if actually I had did choose the right choice because again, this game is weird with the choices. So now I'm going to say don't stop practicing if you enjoy it. You shouldn't stop practicing even if you, you're enjoying it. Really? Okay, this seems okay so far. Yeah, your family made this space for you to practice in peace. And besides, it's not that scary of a ghost story anyways. It gave us a chance to share stories, even play detective a little bit. So this is what being a student is all about, isn't it? Having fun at school. I think it works out great for us. And if, even you, Marcus. Lola. <laughs> then I should heed your wise advice. In fact, stay a while and listen. Really? Thanks. Maka sat down and started pr playing the piano. Something about the song he played seemed to radiate a bright light itself, as if he were playing a piano made from stars. Okay. May I not get his happy ending? Or is Rachel just different? So here I know writing down my symptoms might bring him, so we will write that. Nah, I really want to say it's okay, really, because I want to see those options, but this one honestly seems like a good idea, regardless. Okay, so we are still interrupted. I wonder if the other choice is better. Just don't give me a bad ending, please, because I'm out of um, gem using gems today. Okay, we will see how this goes. This might fail because I don't know if that nurse situation went the best it could, so we'll find out. Okay, this is different. By my family's honor, you shall not scold Lola. <laughs> it's Marcus and he shoved his way through the massive crowd. Wait, did he say that before? Now I'm confused again. I think he says what's going on here or something. I don't remember. Mr. President, this student didn't even bring anything. No gifts, no letters, nothing. It was now or never. I clenched my fist and tight, uh, as tight as I could and took the deepest breath into my lungs. Marcus, please join me in a... Oh... Yeah, this is different. Marcus, please join me in a walk by the lake. There was an un unfiled and very audible gasp from the entire room cloud, cloud. Oh, that's either an act of courage or sheer stupidity. No one's asked the student council president such a thing before. Wait, so Lola is actually being serious right now? Lola, I... Oh, sleeping A. I... I Wait, what? Okay, I've never seen Marcus face so confronted with confusion and conflict, conflict uh, and conflict. But he got on one knee and I wish to as well, but I must desecrate the love I have received from everyone. 
Fucking a. Ah, oh, Marcus, I know that you're an icon idolized by everyone, but but still, destined destiny why do doubt you, you why doubt you be so cruel to the, a soul such as i our hearts yearn for each other but you couldn't reach out and embrace hands sir president if your feeling for for lola are true then we'll be okay in fact we'll be rooting for you we don't want to see you in pain wait what no i will not idly stand by for such i saw uh, yeah, we all agree. Follow your heart, Marcus. My friends. <laughs> what is going on right now? We held back tears. The, cl the fan club cheered for Marcus. Marcus clinched his fist as a fierce spark of determination lit up within his eyes. He stood up and held my hand. All I wanted was for someone to see me for me. And you're always done so for from the start. Not one of your infatuations or jealousies or the indifference. I think it was going this direction. I thought he was going to deny me again. Okay, he technically did, but as in <laughs> Marcus, I don't have any gifts or letters to give you, but love. I love your kind kindness, your optimism, your your everything. My heart is yours. And I must confess, my heart is yours, Lola, for I feel the same. The vocal burst into thunderous applause and energetic cheer. I hope I'm recording. I'm recording. <laughs> This makes quite a pair. This they make quite a pair. Eh? Lola, I was saying, cancer president happiness is in your hands. Oh my god! I couldn't help myself from smiling. I grabbed Marcus' hand and we ran towards the lake. Our lovey dovey school life is just beginning. Happy ending. Okay, cool. But yeah, we got Marcus' ending. So now it's just uh, Herbert and the mystery six person right yes so we'll see how that goes but um what did i want to say let's see what does he like any flowers from you bound to be the pleasant i'm i'm sure okay i only have five two what bish he's he's given me the most that anyone has ever given me don't tell me i'm going to get him and it's the least person i actually do want why is life like this Okay, I have to find out what those other guys like. Do they change every other day anyways? So, yeah, I'm going to have to do Herbert's story tomorrow. Of course, tomorrow for me. I don't know when I'm going to be sharing the whole situation with you guys. Uh, but I'll probably still be sharing even after the fact. But yeah, so we'll see how that goes. Six should come soon because, of course, the time changes for me at six. So right now it's 2 p.m. So we have a couple of hours before the time shifts. Um, I don't know how that's gonna work because it's the weekend and my sister might be home the weekend So if I'm gonna be reading it's gonna be weird. So we'll see or maybe what I can do No, that's gonna be risky. I was gonna say maybe what I can do is try to get the bad endings But it doesn't make sense. I'm just wasting hearts. So I might as well use that for Trying to get his ending. So if I come with a whisper kind of talk the next part I have given you a heads up regardless. See you later and thanks for watching Toodles.